apron to prevent your clothing from wearing. Second, some gloves to prevent colorful hands. Third, pass it for your workplace. Next, we are using two types of dye. The first one it is from this tie dye kit. It has three squirt bottles that have filled with powder dye, instruction, some soda ash, packets of rubber bands, and pair of gloves. The second dye will be this fabric paint where you need to paint on the fabric but I mixed it in the water to put in the squirt bottles. You will also need some rubber bands, some plastic or zip locks, and some damn shirts. For the swirl techniques, firstly you need to pinch the middle and twist, like so. Then secure it with rubber bands. I'll be using 6 rubber bands and that will give me 12 sections, like so. Next, I'll be using 6 colors, 3 for each side. Each color will take 3 sections. There will be a space in between each colors. On this side, I'll be using yellow, blue and hot pink. And for this side, I'll be using green, orange and pink. So here I'm using four rubber bands. The color I'm using are inspired by watermelon, which is greenish yellow at the bottom of the shirt and red. This pink at the top. The third one is scrunch technique. So while the shirt is still laid down, I'm going to scrunch it and bring it together. Then I will squeeze the dye all over. I'm using blue and pink so when it combines, it will make purple. Then I joined the line into a straight line and tied it. I then tied both of the circles. I'm using red for one of the side and blue for the other. I'm adding orange to the red and pink to the blue and let them combine and mix. And for the circles like yin yang, the colors of the circles are the opposite. And I would like to share uh, what we have learned from masterpiece that we create. Uh, and that is, it, it is if it is pain, do like pain. 
Also, uh, maybe there is a way um, uh, that you know how to change from paint and to liquid squirt bottle. So, if you know uh, how? Maybe how to change, um, example, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, the colors from the tie dye kit can uh, stain your hands, therefore, do wear gloves. Uh, also be careful as the colors might spread uh, so if your gloves already have paint do wipe it off or else it will stain at other places so uh, be besides t-shirts eh, you can do uh, that day uh, to anything like a shoe uh, cushion shawl for example like we will do this like, uh, like on t-shirts uh. yeah. So you can choose whatever you want as long as it's tie dye, okay? Uh, I will link in the description the ideas and tips for this tie dye. Uh, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoy. Don't give this video a thumbs up. And see you next time in my next video. Bye! Bye.